You can check it every 90 seconds. Uh, do you know how many people would be thrilled to move to Port Charles to work for Kate Howard on a brand new magazine from the ground? Yes, then we better decorate this nursery. Or you're chained to a desk answering phones. Do you really think she'll hire me as her assistant? Yeah, I would. Okay, so, I was thinking a soft blue for the background and then the trim and the cream color. For our closet? It's a dressing area, and with a little creativity, it's going to make the perfect nursery. Oh, you can't put your baby in a closet. I see, it has a window, and when I take out the cabinets in there, there'll be a lot more room. <clears throat> or we could go a little less gender-specific, like a green or yellow. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. You could really pick any color you want, but it's still going to be a closet. Well, I'm counting on you to make it cute. Mm -hmm. I can make it cute. Even cozy. But no matter what I do, it's still... Oh, it's wait. going to be a closet. Yes, yeah, fine. It's going to be a nice little space. Would you want to sleep in there? Robin, seriously, have you thought about how much this baby is going to change your life? I know that having this baby is going to change my life completely, but I'm thrilled. I mean, I, I can't wait to be a mom. Okay, mom. Well, eventually your baby is going to want a bedroom, not a closet. You know, this is the size that my apartment in Paris was. And if I get this job, I'm going to get to go to Paris. Can you believe it? Well, good. Maybe then you'll appreciate the size of this closet. Dressing area. Anyway, you know, babies, they don't take up that much room. Oh, really? What about baby books and toys and bath stuff and clothes, which you better let me pick out, by the way? Uh, of course, I'm counting on it. Your baby's gonna need towels and sheets and a crib and a toddler bed and a playpen, some little cars with pedals on them, a bike with little training wheels. Oh, right, right, but that's years from now. You know, uh, for the first year or so, all the baby will need is food and warmth and... Me. Hmm. Since you mentioned it, it's a good thing you're not breastfeeding if you ever plan on being naked again. What do you think you're going to do with the diapers? Where are you going to store them? Well, how are you going to dispose of them? Have you seen all those little diaper pills? They're kind of disgusting. I don't recommend it. They smell really bad, but... Oh. Are you going to throw up again? I had no idea that morning sickness would make me this... sick. Anything with ginger is supposed to help ginger ale, ginger tea, saltines, sometimes peppermint. It can be just a thought or a certain smell that brings that feeling up, so I won't mention the diaper pill. Uh, please. Don't. Wow, you really know a lot about being pregnant. Yeah, I did a lot of research when I was faking. I guess the good thing for me is that I wasn't ever really pregnant. I mean, could you imagine getting as big as a barn and having to go throw up in the bathroom every two seconds? Disgusting. Don't get me wrong, I would love the bus line. Just not if it came along with that big fat belly. I mean, all you really have to look forward to is going into labor and then being sleep deprived for the next 20 years. And the stretch marks, your body will never be the same. I meant all of that in a good way. It's okay. I guess not everyone's meant to have children. Yeah. Like, my parents. Oh, come on. First of all, I'm probably should love you very much. I'm not going to have this fight with you again. We're supposed to be focusing on you right now. So is there anything else you need besides a two-bedroom apartment? <laughs> I don't know, a nap? The other day, I almost crawled underneath the table during a staff meeting. I mean, just for a couple minutes, just to take the edge off. That sounds awful. <laughs> it was. I would never admit it at work, but those long shifts are costing me more than they used to. Hey, you don't have to be a superhero. You have nothing to prove. Just... Have the baby and be happy that it's Patrick's. Well, that was an accident. You know, it's funny if I ever said that to someone, they'd think I was lying that I set the guy up, but... You, you're like Georgie. You guys never had the devious thought in your life. Mm. I'd like to think that Georgie had a part in all of this, you know? Our child was conceived and then for funeral. She brought Patrick and me together in a way. I like that. It's like as if, as she was leaving us, Georgie gave us a whole new person to love. Uh, Dr. Quartermain is stable, but she needs more blood work and another scan. Hey, I'm glad you're here. We're busy. Before you jump to any conclusions about me being late because of my morning sickness, I was supposed to come in late today. It's on the schedule. I have a life outside of this hospital, and that includes being pregnant. Any questions? Yes. Just what? Mrs. Jackson at 619 would like to go for a soft diet. Does she have your permission? 
Yes, she does. Thank you, Doc. Want to take a look at these test results? Yeah, is that the cerebral aneurysm? Okay. Hi, is Dr. Lee in our office? If she has any advice about morning sickness, I could use it. Mine is awful, which I'm sure thrills you. I lost the baby. I'm sorry, I... I didn't know. Thanks. Hey, um... I should've told you. You knew? Why didn't you tell me? I walked in to give Carly a neuro exam. She said I had to come back and... Carly and Jack just found out they lost the baby. I wouldn't wish a miscarriage on anyone. Look, I know. I should have told you. I... I just didn't know how. I know you and her aren't close, but it's still difficult to hear somebody losing a child. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but we gotta review those lives. Yeah, can I talk to you later? Yeah. Uh, me, can I have the blood work on Mr. Hughes? It's in there. You know what? Patrick can handle that. I, I'm going home. Walk in here without knocking. I knew you would be doing something like this. <sighs> Relaxation is essential during the first trimester. Huh. I take it so is folic acid, magnesium, selenium. Water's always good. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, Kelly recommended it. It has a lot of useful information. It's sad what happened to Carly, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen to your baby. Yes, but you never wished anything bad to happen to Carly. You never said that she'd be a horrible mother. You never accused her of using her son as a weapon or barged into her life and messed everything up just because you assumed that you were right and she was wrong. You didn't wish for Carly to go away forever. I mean, isn't that what a miscarriage is? A baby just goes away and um, never comes back? You never wished for Carly to have a miscarriage. Yes, but I put out plenty of bad karma. You know, that energy that has to go somewhere. This wouldn't be a good time to blame hormones, would it? Well, I'm not taking any chances.